Now, in order to run these models locally on your machine, the only thing that you need is Olama. And you can directly interact with Olama from your terminal. Now, whatever model you want to run on your local machine, this command is going to first of all fetch that model on your local machine if it is not already fetched and then run it right away. I'm planning to make a dedicated video so that we can prepare a backend Node.js pro project with which we will be interacting with Olama and interacting with all of these interesting, uh, I would say, AI models right from our machine. So here we are in 2026 and I'm definitely sure that since the last two, three years, it's been quite a task to actually cope up with all of this AI boom going around, right? You hear about one AI model and then after a few weeks, a better new model comes into the picture. And it becomes really very hard to actually try out these AI models and actually see how they're working, right? And I'm definitely sure a lot of you guys might have actually thought about how you can run all of these models on your machine locally. Initially, you might think that it might be a quite tiring task, but don't worry, here we are. In this particular video, we are going to talk about how exactly you can run all of these interesting AI models, which are trained to do such interesting tasks right from your machine locally. Yes, we'll be able to run these models on our machine locally with a very few and simple steps altogether. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead on this one. So let's just start. So before moving forward in the video, if you're somebody who is actually looking to learn Spring Boot and want to develop a career in backend development in Java, then you are at the absolutely right place. So now we have actually launched the second iteration of our Spring Boot cohort, where we are going to talk about a lot of interesting backend development topics in Spring Boot, right from the beginner level to the very advanced level. We're going to start with basics of what is a build system. We'll start learning about what are basics of databases, what are basics of Spring Boot, and slowly and steadily we'll move to advanced topics like how you can actually implement distributed transactions using the Saga design pattern, be it the choreography Saga or the orchestration Saga. We are going to talk about the design aspects of some of the very interesting projects, including making a distributed wallet, including making an Airbnb based backend booking system. We are going to talk about how you can actually play around with geospatial indexes and how you can make an Uber booking application altogether and whatnot. There's going to be a lot of important topics that are very frequently used in day-to-day -day backend engineering job, which will actually help you to get the idea of what exactly it looks like to develop these kind of like scalable applications. So if you want to turn up your portfolio into an absolute Spring Boot beast, then do check out the link in the description section below and use this coupon code to get maximum discount off on the cohort. And I'm really excited for you to join the cohort as well. So let's just resume back to the video. Now, in order to run these models locally on your machine, the only thing that you need is Olama. So Olama is a software that is going to actually help you run these models with very few and simple steps right from your local machine. So all you have to go, do is just go to Google, search for Olama, right? And you can see this is the official website of Olama. All you have to do is just download Olama for whatever operating system you want. I've already downloaded it for Mac OS. If you have a different operating system, just go ahead and download it for that. And that's it. If you see, if you have successfully downloaded Olama, you will be able to kind of like get a GUI here as well. And you can directly interact with Olama from your terminal. So. What I'm going to do is, let's say if you go to the GitHub repository of Olama, you can see it's an open source software. So you can read about everything that is actually going on behind the scenes. And all you have to do is after downloading, just to do a quick start, you need to run the command Olama run and then the name of the model. Now, whatever model you want to run on your local machine, this command is going to first of all fetch that model on your local machine if it is not already fetched and then run it right away. If you have already fetched the model, then it's going to just run it directly. And you can see different, different models are directly present here. And you can see how many parameters those models are using. What's the size of those models, right? And you can see uh, if you just go downwards, you'll be able to see how you can list all of the models that are currently on your machine, right? List which models are currently loaded and whatnot. And in fact, 
Olama also provides you dedicated REST APIs so that you can run and manage these models. I'm planning to make a dedicated video so that we can prepare a backend Node.js pro project with which we will be interacting with Olama and interacting with all of these interesting, uh, I would say, AI models right from our machine. Do let me know in the comment section if you want that video right away. So now let's start, let's try out Olama. So on my machine, if you come up here, I have already downloaded a model Gemma 3 1B. This Gemma 3 1B is the model with 1 billion parameters with 815 MB of size, right? So it's a pretty light model to start with. It's already downloaded on my machine, so it's not going to take any time altogether. Let's run it right away. And you can see we are inside Gemma 3 1B. And now we can start asking it some questions. Like if I just say a quick hi, you can see it's able to answer some questions for me. I can ask it a question that, can you please explain me the quick sort algorithm right and here we are you can see it's writing down everything about quick start right on my machine it's not interacting over the internet to any particular i would say application the model is already loaded in my machine and it is interacting with that particular model if let's say you want to have a model that is not loaded in your machine so let's say for example on my machine i have not loaded this gemma 3 so what i'll do is i'll just run the command olama run gemma 3 press enter and it will start downloading the model for you you can see it has started downloading the model the model is 3.3 uh, gb in size so it will take some of time for that now apart from all of these models that are actually present in the model library what you can do is you can actually go to hugging face right and pick up some models from Hugging Face as well. So you, if you want a dedicated tutorial on Hugging Face around how to exactly use it, what all different different features we have, I can make one for that as well. Do let me know in the comment section. Now, if you go to models, you can actually tune in that how many parameters do you want and specifically for apps, I would say click on Olama, right? And then what kind of tasks do you want to have? Text to speech, text generation, what else? So I have actually shortlisted one such, um, I would say model already. Let's jump in to that one right away and see, are we able to interact with that or not? So here you can see, this is the model SQL coder. And you can see that this model is uh, capable of large language model for natural language to SQL generation. So it's more optimized for SQL related tasks, right? So you can see this model is intended to be used by non-technical users to understand data inside their SQL databases. It is meant as an analytics tool, not as a database admin tool. So this is that um, I would say model that we are going to start with. You can see if you want to download any model from Hugging Face, all you have to do is just take the name of the model. You can click on this copy button here and just write Olama run. And then you can say hf.co slash name of the model. That is it, right? So for example, if I have to do it again, so I'll say olama run hf.co slash, and then I'll paste the name of the model that I have copied from here. That's it. And because this model is already downloaded on my machine, it will just run right away. I can click enter and that's it. So we can ask it some questions. What can you do for me? Let's see if it is able to answer a question like this, right? And depending on the capability of the model, it will be able to answer you different, different set of questions. If you actually see the, I would say general guidelines on how to give it a task, the ideal task that can be given is generate a SQL query to answer something like this, right? So you can see it's just asking me some question on top of that. So let's give it some SQL related question. Okay. So let's say generate an SQL, generate a SQL query using which we can query a table of users based on their income and sort the sort the result in increasing order of let's say age let's say something like this okay let's see what it what it does so it's, it's asking me a question. We can also filter the result to only include user under a certain age. Let's say we can give it that, um, yeah, let's, let's only get users under the age 40. Okay. And that's it. You can see it's generating an SQL query, select you dot name, you dot age, you dot income from users you, where you dot age is less than 40 order by you dot age in ascending order, right? And now let's ask it to also include income for the 
sorting criteria. And you can see it is modifying the SQL query for me. And you can see it is now including both income and age as well. So this is a model which is more optimized for SQL related task and you can give it some more complex task around SQL evaluation altogether. And if you want any other model to be loaded, you can right away do that. For example, you can see uh, the model Gemma 3 that I was actually loading is almost done and once it will be done, I can actually ask questions to it. The best part is you have a UI here as well where you will be able to actually interact with any model that you have downloaded. So the Gemma 3 1B I already downloaded, so I can interact it with here as well on this particular UI. So I can say, can you explain me what is deep learning? And here we are, you can see right away, right from your laptop, you will be able to fire an AI query and it will be able to ask, answer all of your questions. So that's the power of Olama. I would highly recommend you guys to do check out Olama and try to play around with that and try to see that what interesting projects you can actually make using the Olama APIs. I'll be making a dedicated tutorial on that. So stay tuned for that as well. And that's it for this particular video. I hope you guys liked it. And if and do let me know if you have some similar interesting topics in your mind that you want me to make a dedicated video on. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.